Right, we're going to show how to use a rollover, how to test a rollover cable. So the first thing you're going to do is on your test set go to setup and then you're going to select twisted pair by just selecting enter and then you're going to select the test limit which is right there on the top you got a up down arrow it's on test limit we'll select enter and then we'll select F1 for more options and then we're going to go down to custom and select that and then we're going to select whatever we want to do these are already there uh, to create one you just hit F1 to create you create your custom name by entering into the field so I've gone ahead and put entered it all in there. If you want to delete anything, you just hit the F3 character uh, and you know, type it back in. Just use your keypad to scroll through. When you're done, select Save. And now that's now you've got a name. And then on the uh, once you're done with that, scroll down to the user default values. We'll select that. From here we're going to select what we're going to use. We're going to use TIA standards. And then you're going to select the type of cable. TIA permalink is actually when you're going to the adapter where it has uh, plug-ins for uh, hardwired panels. Um, six, you know, you've got 5E, 6, or 6A. Those are the different type of cables. You'd have to look at your jacket see which one you've got. Um, we're going to use channel, which is actually uh, one that's factory wired with RJ45s at both ends. So we'll go ahead and select that. When we're totally done setting that up, we're going to go ahead and hit save. And we're going to go back to our one that we just created, test rollover. And then we're going to need to select our out, outlet configuration. You're always going to have to make sure you, you pick this because it could, depending on what it's at, it might be on rollover or crossover. So for this we want rollover, select enter, and now we are ready to go. We'll just go to auto test, plug in our cables, and test. Alright, in order to create a custom crossover test, we're going to again go to twisted pair by just selecting twisting pair, and then enter. And then we'll select the test limit, which is on top. Select that, and then we'll hit F1 for more. Go down to custom select enter and then we're going to select F1 to create All right so now I've gone ahead and named this I've named it test crossover and then we'll select save when we're done all right and then we're going to go down to the the uh, values so right now this says use default values from TIA cat6 permalink that's fine if we were going to go to something that we're where it was hardwired on the back of a patch panel, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to select TIA, and then we'll select the cable assembly that we want, either 5E, 6, or 6A. For this, we're going to select 6, channel. So that you'll notice there's permalink, and then there's channel. Channel is where it's RJ45's permalink is when you're going to a uh, wire up. All right, and then We'll select save, and that's pretty much it. Um, then we're going to go down to, we're going to go ahead and select it, test crossover, and then we'll go down to our Outlook configuration. You notice it right now says rollover, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter, select that, and then we'll go to crossover, or if you wanted 1000 base T crossover, whatever you, you needed. For this, we're just going to select crossover, and then you are ready to test. We just go back to auto test. We plug in our cable and run our tests. Okay, so now, if we want to select a straight cable, we'll go ahead. This is our setup screen where it's set up. We'll select twisted pair, select test limit, which is right at the top, and then we'll go down. We'll select. We'll say we're going to use TIA CAT6 channel, we'll select that. And then it's going to ask UTP, FTP, SSTP. Uh, UTP is unshielded twisted pair, 
FTP is foil twisted pair, which is a shielded, the normal one that we use. And then SSTP has a shield on it similar to that of uh, coax. So we're going to go ahead and select UTP. And then you're going to select your cable, whether CAT6A, which is 500 megahertz, CAT6 is 250 megahertz, and then CAT6 or CAT5E would be the only three that we would normally use. So for this, we're going to select CAT6 UTP. It's going to go through all the options. Now you can select custom if you wanted. The normal that we use, usually use is T568B. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now we're going to need to go to our outlet configuration, make sure that that's what we want. And that's going to be straight. So we're all set up. So now we're going to go ahead and plug in our cable. I've set it to auto test. And then we're going to select test. And I already had one that I didn't save. I'll say no. And it will run through our test. When you're all done with your test, you're going to go ahead and hit save. And then you're going to be able to enter in whatever you want it to. We'll say this is 0, 9, 0, 0, 9, 9, dot, zero. oops. So we've got everything we wanted, we're, we're happy with what we're done. We just hit save. Now it's saved that. And you can continue to do that until your memory is full. And then when you're done, we'll, we'll download all those.